You're watching Midday on WCBI. Welcome back. We're joined now by Pamela Turner, who's here to tell us about a neat parade that's coming up in the very near future. Good afternoon, yes. Pamela. Good afternoon. Thanks How are you? Here. Good. Thank doing you. well. Sounds like this event is to, to bring people together and shed some light on so some things that people maybe not know about and the whole idea kind of just getting everybody on the same page. Yeah, of course. Um, the name of it is a season of change. You know, we need change. A lot is going on in the community as far as gun violence, um, drugs, suicide, mental illness, different things like that. So. Um, I just want to do a parade to kind of show, talk to the community, just to give some uh, positive output out there. As far as we are better together, if we come together and try to solve some of the issues. So. All right. And so, what was the kind of the, the idea behind it? What made you decide to, to go in the direction of a parade? Well, um, a lot of the gun violence that was going on, and it just stayed with me. And I said, we well, need to do something about this. Um, you know, I talked to different people and everyone pretty much feel the same way. So I wanted to do something visual mm -hmm. um, to, to say something positive, like maybe sometimes we can forgive, um, we can um, love, different things like that. So mm -hmm. some of the, the float will contain some of those words that we will speak back out to the community and that all hope is not lost. And a parade gives you the opportunity to, to reach out to different organizations and different positive groups out there in the community. Have you gotten a lot of good feedback so far about people finding out about the parade? Yes, I've had wonderful uh, feedback. A lot of the organizations as far as building uh, Bridges of Hope, um, community counseling, um, um, Saving Grace Mission, a lot of different organizations uh, are coming together with me. Um, that's where the, we'll be at the Columbus um, Boys and Girls Club where we have a platform where they will be speaking on those issues. So, Is it too late for people to sign up to, to be in the parade? Can they still do that? They can. Um, anyone, if you're on a bike, you can walk. Uh, it's a great <laughs> distance, so it's not too late. Um, later on, you'll see a number where you can reach me, so anyone can join in. Right, and when and where's the parade going to be? It's going to be this Saturday. Um, it's going to start up at the Columbus Police Department. Uh, the lineup will start at 1030 and we will end up at the Columbus Boys and Girls Club on 14th Avenue. And as an organizer, what do you hope to see come out of this? Ideally, if you could have anything come out of this parade, what would you like to see? Even if one is changed, to bring hope, uh, let a person know that they're not by themselves. Uh, a lot of people are hurting. So to bring some kind of encouragement, maybe some answers to the gun violence, the drug violence, uh, the drugs. Um, Mental, uh, mental health illness. So maybe someone would leave there with a, uh, just an ounce of hope. I, I like that. And yeah. if this one goes well, could you see this becoming something that you do every year? Yes, I am looking forward to it. Um, it's my first time, so hopefully next year it'll be uh, something, a start of something good. So. Yeah, there's a lot that goes into a parade. It can't be easy. It, it to, it's is, not something it you is. can just throw together no, overnight. No, but I've had a lot of volunteers, um, a lot of people helping. So church, community, um, everyone has come together to help me out. So I'm so grateful for that. Very great. All right, Pamela, that's all I have for you. Thanks for being here this afternoon. Yes, sir.